in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Hallelujah. For whom thou didst merit to bear, Hallelujah. has risen, as he said. Hallelujah. Pray for us to God. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord has risen indeed. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Kindly join in singing hymn number 357. This Mass is offered for the soul of Olga Remedius and for the soul of Genevieve Fernandez being the Man's Mind Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to gather the nation into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come in glory with salvation for your flock. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray may your people exalt forever o god in renewed youthfulness of spirit so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever a reading from the acts of the apostles in those days peter said to the people the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob the god of our fathers glorified his servant jesus whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of pilate when he had decided to release him but you denied the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and you killed the author of life whom god raised from the dead to this we are witnesses and now brothers i know that you act did in ignorance as did also your rulers but what god foretold by the mouth of all the prophets that his christ would suffer he thus fulfilled repent therefore and turn back that your sins may be blotted out the word of the lord
a reading from the first letter of St. John. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly, the love of God is perfected. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the two disciples told what had happened on the road and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. <clears throat> then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, I have a question to ask you all. Please respond. Why did Jesus show his wounds to the disciples? Hmm? Seeing is believing, okay. Why did Jesus to show his wounds? They couldn't believe, okay. Why, what was the purpose of him Showing his wounds. They could believe. Okay. 
okay thank you while the purpose for jesus to show his wounds is to tell us and to tell every one of us present here that there is meaning in suffering he suffered for our sake and his wounds are a revelation of the same and that is beautifully highlighted in the three readings today there is meaning in suffering suffering is not something that we need to run away from but suffering is something that we need to live with and this is beautifully highlighted in three points that we need to reflect on firstly we need to understand about suffering who are you suffering for we always would ask the question why am i suffering but we need to ask the question who are you suffering for and that is beautifully highlighted in the first reading and second reading we don't have to suffer for violence we do not have to suffer for hate for corruption there we need to speak up but the suffering that jesus is asking and telling us is the suffering out of love the love for one another and that is something that each of us go through in our relationships with one another we would always expect someone to give us something in return for what we give but there's a sacrifice we make of giving love we may suffer but we continue to give love and that's what jesus did as in the first reading we see people addressing the crowd they denied him they rejected him but he still kept on giving love he suffered out of love and that's the cause i think which we also need to understand in our life suffering is in it's part of our life we can't run away from it but we need to address it and who are we suffering for we need to suffer for each other understand each other live with each other and understand the will of god in the suffering that's the first aspect that we need to understand why jesus showed his wounds in context to suffering to understand the will of god in human experience the second aspect that we need to understand in understanding the will of god in human experience and suffering is being witnesses each of us have a testimony to share all of us have suffered in life as you will hear in the gospels in this easter season there are different resurrection narratives and each story is unique be it mary magdalene be it saint thomas be it peter there is diverse each of them had their own crisis and suffering that they were going through but they became witnesses and testimonials of god's love and this is something that we need to encounter in our life right now whatever suffering we are going through we need to understand that it is god's love that is putting us through that suffering and we need to become testimonials to it witnesses to it so at this moment take a time to reflect in your own life what have been your struggles what have been your sufferings and give time and space to listen and encounter god's love that has always been by your side maybe you just need to trust that moment right now and encounter that love and that's what he's commissioning us each of us to be to be witnesses of his love in our own lives let us dwell into this suffering aspect that we are going through right now and encounter that it is god's love that is putting us through through in understanding the relationships we share with one another the relationship we self share with ourselves 
And that is the third aspect of empowerment. Through our sufferings, he is empowering us. And who's empowering us? It's the power of the Lord. It's the Holy Spirit empowering us. So when we share our testimonies or witnesses, we're not telling our glory. We're telling the glory of God. And therefore, in our lives, let us look at this empowerment. It's an ongoing process even right now. And some, simply we need to put our trust in God. We don't need to do anything. Just trust God, knowing and believing and loving and trusting Him that it is His power that is with me right now. Whatever be the suffering, whatever be the struggle I'm going through, He is there and we will go through it together. Let us find meaning in suffering. Suffering out of love. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting. Amen. When Jesus broke the bread, the disciples' eyes were opened and they recognized him. We turn to the Father and pray that our eyes and the eyes of the world may be opened to God's infinite love. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, clergy, and religious, that they may encourage the people to live their faith with generosity of heart and mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for their faith, that they may not lose their confidence in the promises of Christ and be witnesses of God's love around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parishes, that they become centers where vocations to priesthood and religious life are identified and nurtured. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are sick and close to death, that Jesus, the risen Savior, will give them grace and strength during their time of trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That its citizens exercise their franchise for a good government and that we may get the right party to rule the country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pause to pray for our personal and community needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty and ever living God, you raise Jesus from death to life. Open our ears that we may know your will and our hearts that we may do your will. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Kindly join in singing hymn number 194.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all is risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lamb of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus Christ, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me. In the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The, ju the Jubilee Prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when, with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of your Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen. Announcements. Pre-baptismal catechist will be held on the fifth floor of the Johannine Center on the 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th April from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. For registration, please email at prebapthane2020 at gmail.com or call on 9820955943 between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. only. Last date of registration is 19th April. Parishioner, please note that the confirmation and First Holy Communion forms for the year 2024-25 will be available at the church office from next week, 15th April onwards, during office hours. Submit the same at the earliest or latest by 26th May. Parishioners, please note that there is a scarcity of vacant temporary graves. Requesting parishioners whose loved ones are buried at St. John the Baptist Church Cemetery or at three petrol pump for two years and more to contact the church office for shifting of the mortal remains to the niche vault at the earliest. The music for chain children and parents will be selling merchandise, bags, t-shirts, mugs, and fridge stickers after all masses to raise funds for their show, The Road to Success, in aid of the Jesuit NGO Reap EcoStem on 27th April 2024. Do patronize the stall and encourage our children. Summer club will be held from 2nd May to 12th May from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the church. Different workshops on sports, creativity, learning talents, cricket, football, handball, and tele games will be organized during these days. Forms are available at the church office. Charges rupees 100 for registration. Ushers meeting next Sunday, 21st April in the auditorium after the 6.30 p.m. mass. All ushers are requested to be present. Attendance is mandatory. Next Sunday, the 7 a.m. mass will be in Marathi. Tridum in preparation for the feast of Our Lady of Hope Church, Gormal, begins from Thursday 25th, Friday 26th, and Saturday 27th April. Our Lady of Hope Church Gormal Feast is on, the, on Sunday 28th April. Details will, are displayed on the notice board. Last Sunday's collection amounted to Rs. 82,070, and OLPS box collection amounted to Rs. 5,932. Divine Mercy Navina collection amounted to Rs. 13,040. 
and Divine Mercy Feast Day, the collection amounted to rupees 47,920. We thank you for your generosity. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. join in singing hymn number 82. 